Kadibri, welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're going to do something different. I'm going to try to help you guys do some troubleshooting on various engine codes so that you don't get the parts cannon out. Start replacing parts you don't need. So today, this one, we're going to work on a P0102 on an LS Vortec motor. And the P0102 is mass airflow circuit low voltage. And I'm going to show you some things to troubleshoot that. So in case you're wondering what the mass airflow sensor does is it measures the air coming into the engine and then does a calculation to figure out your air fuel ratio. Now, however, the PCM, the computer, will use the MAP sensor, the air intake temperature and RPM to calculate a predicted MAP value. So under certain conditions, the PCM will compare the MAF sensor value to the calculation it's made out of those other three sensors. And if they don't, if they don't match, you're going to get an engine code. So let's get started and what we can do to help you troubleshoot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it up and we're going to look at the mass airflow sensor frequency. Because what we want to see is if the frequency is less than 10 hertz, It'll trigger a code. Go inside here, fire it up. So you can see it right there. I am good. So the next thing we're going to do is, this is our mass airflow sensor we're going to measure the power at the yellow wire it should be five volts now obviously if you had less than 10 hertz on this for a period of i think it's 1.2 seconds or something then something is probably definitely wrong with the mass airflow sensor or it could be these other things we're going to check that's why i'm doing this video to help you troubleshoot so now let's pull that off and measure volts. so you can see that yellow wire i'm probably going to need in there careful I don't ground out somewhere and if I touch the body it should have yeah five volts it's just uh, let me get that screen bright again Right, touch the ground. So I got five volts going to the plug. So we know the mass airflow sensor is getting power. Now, of course, if you didn't get five volts, you would have to trace um, the wire back and determine where it's broken because the five volts will be coming from the PCM. And of course, since I did a modified LS Vortex swap in my Jeep, I can't go through all the proper connectors, but you need to trace that down. Then of course, you also want to check for power at the fuse. So on my LS swap harness, the um, O2 and MAF sensor is tied into one, so I'll need to check voltage there. You want to check on both sides of the fuse 12 volts on one side 12 volts on the other side and if you had 12 volts on one side and no volts on the other side or no volts well you got an issue there that you need to troubleshoot and figure out further for this test right here you're supposed to use a trouble light or a test light but I don't it's the um, the pink it's the pink and the black and white wire. And if you hook up a test light, you're supposed to see the light light up, but I can tell right there that I have voltage going through. Now we're gonna connect the wire between the pink, pink wire on the MAF, and we're going to test it to ground. So I'm gonna find a ground on the body here. And then 
touching that wire should be 12 volts if I have a good ground somewhere. So hold on, you get a good ground. So I got 12 volts. So do you see where this test went? So what we verified in the past two tests is that the black and white wire is a ground. The pink is your 12 volt. The yellow is your reference 5 volts. So we had power 12 volt to ground and 12 volts between the two wires. So the continuity in those wires are good. For whatever reason, if you did not have 12 volts, you might have a power supply issue. That's why we checked the fuse, make sure that there's power, verify that there's power. If there still is no 12 volts doing that test to here, between those two pins, that wire could be could be shorted out somewhere. And that's why, that's why we did the second test to verify 12 volts to ground to the body to verify that indeed that if we got 12 volts there and no 12 volts when connected to that black and white wire something is wrong with that black and white wire well there you have it hope you guys enjoyed the short video and other videos where i go about troubleshooting diagnostic codes this and that it involved using different wires we just did like the ground the power and the five volt reference other videos will go other ones depending on the code but i want to make these videos to help people out to troubleshoot instead of throwing the parts cannon at it just because you got a code doesn't mean the part is faulty there's a lot of variables in place as i just showed you in this one particular video that you got to check your grounds you got to check your powers you got to check everything and you also got to look for the obvious too when you're doing a code especially like this one you got to check is the intake dirty is the intake clear of debris do we got vacuum leaks all these will play into whatever diagnostic code you got. Anyways, I'm going to get going. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll see you guys in the next video.